Okay. Uh, excuse me, Liz. I'm uh, looking for a pal of mine. There's been a bit of bother. Bother? That's my middle name. I, I can walk. Not in a straight line, maybe. Right, you'll be hearing from us, Liz. So come on, let's get out of this dump. What, no hug? Don't tell me I'm in the naughty corner with you and all. Drink driving? You were drinking orange juice. What happened? Hook Street. They picked me up from Hook Street. Blasted Hook Street's yard from the flat. How could you? Oh, does it matter? It's been done. I've been done. Whichever way you look at it, it's a total disaster. It's in your party. Yeah, well, there'll be others. And you won't be able to drink at any of them. Now, there's a sobering thought. Oh, you're a cunning little alky, but I like you. And you sure it was just the three glasses that you had? Yep, tragically. Oh, if you're going to get done for drink driving, at least go out in style. Three glasses barely touch the sides. Yeah, well, that's just as well. That's just as well because you could have killed somebody. You could have killed a kid. I could have knocked down an old lady. Somebody might have loved her, or used her. I mean, kids, they rule the world. I'm making you one of these poncy old greys. Leanne likes this stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Talk of the devil. What happened? You were doing really well. Yeah, well, I might spend the rest of my days totally out of my tree. Did something happen tonight? Yes. Three glasses of Verve Clico, officer. What is it? Why am I getting the feeling that you're angry with me? Like I said, you're missing your party. You know, some people actively choose not to drive. <laughs> and do they own a factory or have breakfast meetings all over the north of England? OK. Hayley Cropper could be your designated driver. What? Oh, look, stop trying to fix everything. And you sit in the back, you plough through all your paperwork, which actually, pound for pound, is a much better use of your time, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Also, I reckon you'd suit that whole Lady Penelope thing. Look, shouldn't you be getting back to the bar? I am fine. I'm really not going to go in search of the nearest bottle of Thunderbird. You're far from fine, Carla. <sighs> Tell me what happened. Please. <sighs> When I saw you at tea time, I was trying to send out a May Day. Right. And I fobbed you off. No, you were busy with your own life. You are entitled. No, I should have tuned in to you. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, I don't want you to be sorry. I don't want to be something on your conscience. Hey, you're not. Well, you'd make to me. <laughs> oh, kill me now. <laughs> oh. Look, tonight I was trying to dry my sorrows. Well, just one big sorrow, actually. But it's a biggie. Okay. Try me. Oh. It's you, you big pillock. And don't. Please don't tell me this is a schoolgirl crush because you're, you're right under my skin and I'm guessing by the look on your mush you didn't have the slightest inkling that you've got. I need a drink. Right about the finish. You still here? I was hoping you'd legged it. Look, Carla, I'm unbelievably flattered. Yeah, I... I know, and you've got Leanne. And her lip is all lovely and tickly pink and she don't drink and drive and throw herself at unavailable men, does she? I'm in love with Leanne. And, I, hey, I don't mean that to sound small. Oh, it, it doesn't. Otherwise, I bit your arm off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enough said. You're very smooth-toned arm. I have got eyes, you know. You're beyond gorgeous. You're off the scale. Oh, hey ho! At least that's the nicest rejection I've ever had. Hey, it's the only rejection you've ever had. It's the only rejection you've ever had. No. Oh. Oh, don't. 
I'm sorry. That was my fault. Right? That was completely my fault. Go home, Peter. No, I was giving you mixed signals, OK? And what kind of selfish scumbag does that to his mate? Please, just... You're forgiven. Just go. No, I've let you down twice today. Can't look at me. <laughs> we can get past this. I know we can. <laughs> it's very soon, is it? You know, friendship is underrated. Oh, please. I have trotted out that I don't want to lose your friendship so many times. Well, I don't. I really don't want to lose yours. Oh, I can see what's in it for you. Quick ego boost from an old soak. Ah, uh, no. Former soap. Then home to Leanne for the real thing. Hey, I'll be the foreplay without the touching. Oh, come on. Don't say that. Oh, look. Jeannie's out the bottle, Peter. Every time I look at you, we're both gonna know I fancy you. This is one very doomed friendship. No, look. Hey. We've both got demons. We can... we can help each other. Okay? And your feelings for me, they'll fade. Especially when you get to know me properly. You better watch yourself. So no mixed signals. No awkwardness. Just good. Honest support, OK? What do you say? To the crumbs off the table. <laughs> You're a twisted beggar, you. What if you suspect?